right, good evening, comrades, subscribers. Now, before you unsubscribe, this is what my channel's about. It's about all sorts of retro vintage stuff, not just Sinclair stuff. So if this doesn't interest you, then don't unsubscribe, please. Just don't watch the video. Anyway, um, weather report, shall we continue doing that? It's, uh, what, Tuesday night? Uh, what time was it? I think it's coming up to about 8 p.m. Yeah, I'm filming it's... So what's that, 27, 27 degrees? So, um, a bit humid, I am sweating down here in the Gaddage garage. But yeah, so um, this is an Atari SM125 monitor that um, a friend of my neighbor, um, shout out to Chris and Ben, um, gave me, uh, asked if I was interested. Um, he, uh, ben does, um, he's, he's got an excellent um, kind of retro, um, well, it's not so much, well, it is retro, but it's it's more modern, you know, 90s or uh, noughties machines, I guess, like Pentiums and things like that, um, all set up on a LAN. Um, so, uh, it's uh, yeah, we have some great gaming sessions over there. Anyway, so um, it was just interesting if I, was, if I wanted this. Now, if it was a generic monitor, I'd probably say, no, just, just trash it. But it is an Atari monitor. So it's always nice to try and, um, you know, recover these if possible. You know, so uh, match it up with an Atari ST. So it came with the power cable cut off, which is maybe an indication that it doesn't work. So <laughs> it's the reason why it was trashed. Uh, I, I don't have an Atari ST. I've never used one. Um, but... Um, let's see how we go. So, like I said, it's an SM125, which I believe is the paper white monochrome um, screen for the um, for the Atari uh, ST. So, which has its you know, which has its charms. Uh, it's got a bit of bit of yellowing, which could pr probably be fixed with some retro brighting type activity. Um, looks like the labels are a bit. Um, faded as well i guess a lot of this is this was facing the window i guess um yeah so first thing i guess is putting on a new plug powering it up um i don't know what powering up is going to prove because we need a video source which will be interesting because it's a um 13 pin <laughs> but not to worry i planned ahead and got old aliexpress I ordered a bunch of 13-pin um, DIN, male to female or whatever. I find it I find it better to, to get these, especially if I can get these at a good price. Um, cables already made up. It saves me a bit of having to solder a DIN, DIN plug, especially a 13-pin one, but I'll have 13. So the idea is, hopefully this fits... Um, goes in like that. Okay, so I've got so like I said, I don't have an Atari ST to plug this into, but um, maybe I can make up a, a, a cable to um, try it with a different video source. That's the idea. Okay, new power cable's done. Let's see if it powers up. If it winds or something, if we get an image. Or if it's just completely dead. If it's completely dead, then obviously I'm not going to waste my time trying to make a 13-pin cable. Uh, power on there. There's a red LED on there. Uh, power off. Power on. Can't hear any whining. So it could be dead. V hold, V size, and H size on the back. Adjust the contrast, adjust the brightness. Can I hear anything? No, I don't think I can hear anything. So the light is on, but nobody's home. Now, I'm not a CRT person. <laughs> So I don't know if I can, if it's something obvious when I open it up, then I'll give it a good shot. 
Um, but uh, yeah, I'm not going to go poking around high voltage stuff. I'll let the experts do that. So I'll see if the Australian Computer Museum uh, Society are interested in Atari monitor. All right. Let's power it off and um, I guess open it up to see if there's anything obvious we can we can do. Okay, screws are undone. Okay. There we go. Du -du -du. Right. Mm -hmm -hmm. Ah. Check the fuse, stupid. <laughs> That's for uh, UK 13 amp AC plugs. Right. So, nothing obvious. So the LED is on, so I assume there is some sort of low voltage getting generated at least. Da -da. Um, obviously schematics would be good. So that looks to be... Let me get my... Plastic, I'll use plastic, I won't use metal. Pointing implements. Do I have one? Let's use that one. Alright, so I'm guessing that this here, that there is the um, LED. Is that if there's a fuse there? So there's a fuse there. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Otherwise, everything else looks pretty much in. There's no exploded capacitors. Was, again, I'm not a obviously I'm not a CRT expert. So. have a closer look if you like so I say so that looks like that's the LED I guess so there should be some power there that looks like a fuse holder there's a fuse there and there's a fuse there that's 250 volt fuse what was this one here where was it 250 volt so, um, otherwise I can't, there's nothing obvious. Like I said, I didn't hear any kind of whine. Um, there's no exploded caps. So I know the, um, the computer museum, they've got, I've got at least one guy who knows about CRTs. So it might be much better off in his hands. But I can do simple stuff. Uh, that one bulging a little bit? <laughs> no. Well, maybe it is, I don't know. What do you reckon? Anything obvious? I can't see anything obvious. All looks okay. Um, oh, that's an inductor. All right, I'll uh, poke around a little bit. Well, I've checked the continuity of both fuses. Uh, both are okay. Um, I did just notice that um, 
I need to figure out how to do this properly. This uh, capacitor here is just legs. There is no capacitor. It's been removed. Uh, so I don't know if that was during manufacture. Well, I'm assuming it is. But there is also a dead bug. It doesn't look charred or anything. I think it just died of natural, natural causes. So I don't think it caused a short or anything, but I will remove it. Um, date, September. 1986 um, but yes obviously there's there's just nothing nothing obviously wrong I can see a whole bunch of test points in here um, so if one had the service manual which is probably available I need to have a look so yeah, a whole bunch of test points. So I think this is the five volts or whatever for the power LED. I'm assuming that's what it is. Um, yeah, nothing I can see obviously wrong. I say I can't hear a whine. I can't hear, although my hearing isn't as as good as it used to be. I guess. Those capacitors, oh, a little bit of a little bit of a bulge. Eh? Um, yeah. So there we go. Sorry, it's probably not a very exciting video, so I don't. I'm gonna have to uh, do some research on this. Obviously, I'm not gonna make up a. Well, I can have a quick look at my plans. One more try, let's remove that bug. I'm not expecting anything. Um, power LEDs on. Yeah, I can't hear it. I can't hear anything. Well, maybe I can. Oh, there is a high pitched sound. Oh, I heard something then. Definitely heard something then. So it's wanting to do something. <laughs> um, but yeah, without the uh, proper schematics or service menu, I'm not going to go poking around. Sorry. <laughs> um... Before I go, I can definitely, I can definitely hear something. Oh, okay, okay, and it does have a speaker. Okay, it's good to see it's got a speaker. So with the 13 pins, um, so the pin out, okay, so we've got audio out. Uh, okay, so this is coming, okay, this is coming from the Atari. Yep, so audio out, so audio going to the speaker, so it's mono, mono audio. Composite video, um, monochrome detect, audio in, don't know what you use that for. You've got your RGB, you've got some SCART stuff, horizontal sync, vertical sync, monochrome and ground. So, um, really it's just the monochrome signal that we want. Um, but composite would be easiest to use, I guess. So, um, I just, I guess, hook up audio and composite and ground is basically the three pins I need. Um, and that's looking at the port so that's the idea is to basically probably chop this end off so I've got this this much cable and then um, just use this add on a um, RCA socket and a um, and a 3.5 mil plug or socket for the audio and we can use it up, use it as a black and white TV basically if it was working. So service manual next maybe. Let's see if I can find something.